Washington, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky tonight, 300 some days into the war, new military aid package in hand, including Patriot anti aircraft missiles, addressing a joint meeting of Congress. We'll celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Christmas, and even if there is no electricity, the light of our faith in ourselves will not be put out. If Russian, if Russian missiles attack us, we'll do our best to protect ourselves. If they attack us with Iranian drones, and our people will have to go to bomb shelters on Christmas Eve, Ukrainians will still sit down at the holiday table and cheer up each other. And we don't, don't have to know every, everyone's wish, as we know that all of us, millions of Ukrainians, wish the same, victory. Only victory. We're joined now by former Secretary of State, U.S. Senator, and 2016 presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Madam Secretary, good to have you on tonight. Um, wh what are your thoughts about what President Zelensky said tonight? I thought it was extraordinary, Anderson. It was, as others have said, rousing and inspiring. Uh, it also touched all the chords. It connected the struggle of Ukrainian people to our own revolution, to our own feelings that we want to be warm in our homes to celebrate Christmas and to get us to think about all the families in Ukraine that will be huddled in the cold and to know that they are on the front lines of freedom right now. They're fighting. Uh, their cause is our cause. And I was thrilled to see the very positive response from the Congress. Uh, I also thought that uh, the meeting between uh, President Zelensky and President Biden was uh, substantive and very positive, along with their press conference. It could not have been uh, a better day for him, but more importantly, as he pointed out, a better day for the people of Ukraine and for the cause of democracy and freedom. Do you think sending uh, a Patriot battery to Ukraine was the right move? Absolutely. I hope that they will send more than one. I know that uh, there's been some reluctance uh, in the past by not just the United States, but our NATO allies uh, to provide uh, a lot of the advanced uh, equipment, particularly in this case, uh, defensive equipment, which is what the Patriot battery is. Uh, but I think we've seen, we've seen with our own eyes how effective the Ukrainian military is. I think they will be quickly trained uh, to use uh, the Patriot system. And they should be getting as much help as we can give them to end this war as quickly as possible in victory. There's obviously opposition in among some, particularly Republicans in, in Congress. Uh, Kevin McCarthy said something towards the effect of he's not sure American families are going to be willing to continue writing a blank check uh, to, or having uh, a blank check in a recession to uh, to Ukraine. Do you think that Zelensky's visit would, will have changed any minds and those who were skeptical? I, I think it will certainly have strengthened uh, both Democrats and Republicans who understand what's at stake uh, in this fight against Putin and Russian aggression and now with their ally Iran uh, as well. I also think no one is asking for a blank check. Uh, I believe that uh, the Ukrainians have proven that uh, they are a really good investment for the United States. They are not asking us to be there to fight uh, their war. They're fighting it themselves. They're asking us and our allies for the means to uh, not only defend themselves, but to actually win. Uh, so I think this had a positive effect. and. I agree with some of the uh, people you've already talked with on the program. Uh, this was historic. Uh, some people have compared it to when Churchill came uh, 81 years ago and basically asked that the United States continue to stand with them after we'd been uh, attacked, and we did. Um, so there were a lot of points that Zelensky made that were quite resonant uh, with any of us who know how hard our own struggle for freedom and the cost that we've paid to defend it over all these years uh, actually has been. You've obviously met Vladimir Putin on a number of occasions. I'm wondering what you make of the position that he, that he <laughs> now finds himself in uh, and what you think 
he may do? Well, it's always uh, probably impossible to actually predict, but I think around now uh, what he is considering is how to throw more bodies, and that's what they will be, bodies of Russian conscripts uh, into the fight in Ukraine. It's been proven, I think, conclusively that uh, he's willing to sacrifice as many uh, Russian men as he can round up throughout uh, the vast uh, reach of the Russian uh, territory. I think he's trying desperately to convince uh, Lukashenko and Belarus to try to get him to be involved. I think so far Lukashenko has played his hand uh, adroitly. He doesn't want to get drawn into that. He doesn't want to see his own uh, military decimated. Uh, where that ends up, I don't think we know yet. Um, so there has to be a moment of reckoning, and it can only come if the cost, both in military losses and in economic pain because of sanctions, continues to increase on Putin. And I thought it was quite smart of Zelensky to make it clear that he's willing to reach out to the Russian people. He in effect, invited the Russian people to free their minds uh, from uh, the rule of Putin. And by doing so, he is sending a signal that if the Russian people, whether it is people around Putin or more generally people out in the country, understand that this is a war that is Putin's war, not Russia's war, that could also change the internal dynamics that will be confronting Putin. So there's a lot of moving pieces, but the most important thing is to keep supplying them with what they need to keep defeating Russia every chance they get. Do you think that is a possible scenario of dissent in Russia, whether it's, uh, you know, nationwide or among powerful sort of forces around Vladimir Putin, that that could actually topple him? Well, I don't know about topple, but it could certainly uh, influence the calculations he makes. Uh, there is some reporting that I have seen coming out of Russia that uh, uh, there is increasing distress and anger among mothers of sons and, and people who are related to those Russian men who have been rounded up. Uh, as they come back, uh, having been poorly or not at all trained, having been killed uh, in the front line of Putin's war, uh, that can have an impact. I think information continues, not enough, but still to seep into Russia so that the defeats uh, and the resolve of the Ukrainian people become clearer and clearer. I think there will be jockeying around Putin. Uh, one never knows uh, if there is the appetite to uh, do anything directly against him or try to maneuver him so that he's looking for an exit. All of this is happening simultaneous. This is an incredibly complex uh, set of circumstances, Anderson. But right now, I think it's fair to say Ukraine has the upper hand. Ukraine is winning its war thanks to the enormous support we and, and others have provided, and we need to keep the pressure on Putin. Hillary Clinton, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.